was that, dude? What? I don't need you, like, fucking saving me or whatever that was. I wasn't. Ask me if I'm all right. What? Don't do that shit. Uh, there was a gunshot. Sorry, Jesus. Well, whatever. I'm fine. You don't need to, like... <sighs> Whoa, what the hell? <sighs> what? You just passed out. Whoa. What's wrong with you? Mm. Oh my god, is that blood? Did you get shot? Oh man, I think I got shot. You think? How do you not know? Well, I don't know. I don't feel anything, so I am... Oh Jesus Christ, pull over! Pull over! <sighs> Quick, let me see your leg. What? Give me your leg! It's fine. It's probably just from the glass. No, you got shot, dude. I didn't get shot. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, you got fucking shot. We need to go to the hospital. No. What? N no, it's fine. Um, there's literally a hole in your leg where the mm. bullet passed through, so I'm going to bring you to the hospital. I c you can't take me to the hospital. You take me to the hospital, and the rest of the world will catch up to us, and everything will get way more complicated. We need to just finish this now. Here, just, we're, we're almost there. Five minutes that way, and we're there. Now just let me drive. Little Montgomery is brought to you by Wheelhouse. Do you finish every day with tasks uncompleted? Are you constantly catching up on emails? Do you wish you had skills in graphic design and social media to improve your company's brand? On the voyage of growing your business, time is your most valuable asset. Say hello to your new virtual assistant. At Wheelhouse, we know what it feels like to be consumed by the work we have to do that keeps us from the work we want and need to do. You deserve to get your time back from annoying tasks. Get back to your wheelhouse, Captain, and hire a first mate. Visit the link in the show notes to see if a wheelhouse virtual assistant is right for you. We're getting ready to go. You okay? Yeah. Are you sure? How do you know if someone's your soul friend or not? What? A soul friend is a person... Oh, no, I know what a soul friend is. She didn't tell me that he was her dad. The only reason you wouldn't tell something like that to your soul friend is if they aren't your real soul friend. Uh, I don't know. My niece, Isabel, she doesn't tell me stuff all the time. But that's your niece. Yeah, but she's also, like, one of my good best friends. We go camping together, we blow up dry ice bombs in the woods. It's awesome. But she's doing the whole puberty thing right now, so we haven't really talked for, like, the past six months. And that doesn't make it feel like your heart's going to evaporate? No, it does. It does. But that's what a soul friend does. You just got to let it evaporate. <laughs> because one day she's going to call me and be like, Chet, I'm at school and I need some tampons. Help. And I'm going to be like, okay. And on that day, my heart's going to feel about as big as the sun. All right, I've just pushed the search statewide. We got every county in the state looking for him now. They're also trying to pull up his address. Good, good. You all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm okay. Good. Now, give me your gun. Oh, Patty. Don't I fucking Patty me, Larry. You pulled your gun on me and almost shot someone. Now, I know you're going through some shit at the moment, but you do not do that. Now, gun, badge, hat. Are you happy with yourself? Jesus Christ, Larry, do you even want to be a cop? I don't know. That's the worst answer you could have given. I know. You're done. You understand? Yeah. But, before you go, I need you to look at my face... And apologize. Patty. I'm sorry, Patricia, for disobeying direct orders, for breaking the law, for almost shooting an innocent bystander, and for pointing my service weapon at my superior officer. I'm sorry for disobeying orders, and for breaking the law, and for almost shooting Rick Montgomery. And... I apologize for pointing my service weapon at my superior officer. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't think I'm going to do that. Excuse me? I'm not going to apologize for that. 
Oh, now you're just trying to piss me off. You were pointing a gun at my daughter, Patty. I was doing my job. What? Look, I'm not... I've never been good at things. You know, police work, obviously. School. Brenda's cheating on me with some guy named Alan at Astroworld right now, so that's, you know. But I'm great at being a father. That is like... In my blood. I've got dad blood. So, yes, I, I'm sorry you disagree with me on whether Megan is guilty or not. And I'm sorry I disobeyed you and, and probably ruined your chances with the governor. But I'm not sorry I protected my daughter. I am the wall that stands between her and those that would do her harm. I'm sure you'd do the same if it was Jason and Jared in trouble. Fuck no. Locking those idiots up would be an improvement to their lifestyle. I don't think so. Yeah. Well. Shit. Here. This isn't me giving you your job back. But you're gonna need some authority if you're gonna find your daughter. After that, it's done. And I'm fucking keeping your gun. You better believe that shit. Now, go out there and finish this thing. Officer McClaskey. Little Montgomery is a production of New City Players, a Fort Lauderdale-based ensemble theater company. Our mission is to create community through transformative theater. Want to join our community text platform where you can reach us instantly if you have a question about an upcoming event or show? Text us at 954-388-9440 or click the link in the show notes. That's 954-388-9440. All right, elevate your leg. What? Elevate your leg. We need to get the blood flowing in the other direction. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to seal the wound. It's fine. Just wrap a towel or shirt around it or something. Wrap a shirt around it? Yeah. God, you're stupid. What are you doing? I'm getting my tools out. Your tools? That's just a knife. And a lighter. What are you going to do with that knife and lighter? And, uh, here, put this shirt in your mouth. Why? You're going to need it. What are you going to do with that knife and lighter? And hold very still. (laughs) Wait! What's about to happen? I'm going to try to cauterize the wound. Whoa! No, 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 no. Come on! No, uh-uh, no. But I have to close the wound. There's no other way. Then take me to the hospital. I thought you said... I don't care anymore. Take me to the hospital. Let the cops come and take you away. Let them take you... Far away from me. Don't be a baby. It's not going to be that bad. Or let me die. I don't care. Hey! Ow. Don't even joke, all right? If you want to die, I will let you die. But if not, you need to man the fuck up in the next three seconds and get ready. So what's it going to be? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Okay! This is gonna be so fucked up, okay? Uh, ready? No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Real quick, in my boot. I do, what do you want? My, my Demerol. You hide them in your boot? That's so gross. Shut up. How many do you take? Like 15. Did you crush my fucking pills? You get one more, and that's it. Those are my fucking pills! Don't move! I've only seen this dot on the internet like one time, and it was a grainy video. Here we go! Holy shit! I'm done. I'm done. Are you okay? No. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. God damn it. It was so much fun. No, it was not. It smells like steak. I hate you. Aw, come on.
Mm. Almost done. Almost done. Mm. Mm. Putting the bandage on now. Mm. There. How does that feel? Terrible. Ah, uh, don't look at me like that. I just saved your life, idiot. Give me my pill. Uh uh. What do we say? Um, mother. What do we say? Please. And. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for... Just give me the goddamn pill already. Jesus Christ. Thank you for... Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. (laughs) That was crazy. Want some chips? No. Ah, Come on, you should eat. Seriously, you lost a lot of blood. I can't remember the last time I had a Dorito. What? I'm a Fritos man. Oh, gross. They're classic. Doritos always seem so needy with all their commercials and different tastes and throwing all kinds of different flavors at you. It's no good. Hmm. You ever see a Fritos commercial? Oh, um, no. Exactly. They know what they are. They don't need to go telling people about it either. Mm. What about Cheetos? Who doesn't love Cheetos? Who doesn't love Cheetos? (laughs) Eat your chip. (laughs) Well, you ready to get to it? Yeah. Bring over that black case in the corner. You ever hear her play? No. Not even at a concert? I always snuck in after her. You want to? She's working on a couple things. Didn't get to finish them all, so it's not polished. But... Ugh. One more time. No. Come on, one more. That take was great. Are you stupid? No. That take was terrible. It was also the 16th take. Eighth. Eighth take. And they were all great. Come on. What are you doing? You're just going to stand there and pout at me then? Pouting's not going to do anything. Go ahead. I'm a stone wall. Pout all night. I got the time. Ugh. Fun. But this is the one. This is it. Yeah, yeah. Take 17. Take nine. Take nine. I wish I'd known the way. I wish I could have made you stay in a place beyond the fields and sea. A place like Montgomery, where the streets are paved for you. Every moment is always new And joy would come easily Because you would be here with me But I know I can't go back years ago And change our history I wish I had been smart I wish we'd restart So I could show you my goal a place like Montgomery A place like Montgomery The town is half empty now The nights are darker somehow And it's not as bright as it used to be I'm not sure if that's just me But we're still here Smart, I wish we'd restart. 
Please like Montgomery, you're on Montgomery, my little Montgomery. Motherfucker, they found us. Hello? Shit, we gotta get out of here. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Uh, we can sneak out the back, it's fine. We're not going anywhere. Do you have another car? You hear what I said? <clears throat> Ow, stop. Shut up, stop whining. Come on, you're not even hurt that bad. Stop it. Dude, it's not that hard. They're not that smart of people, let's go. Stop. We're not going anywhere. Why do you keep saying that? Are you giving up? What do you mean, giving up? It's not giving up. I said I'd drive you here and give you that. That was the deal. That doesn't mean you have to be a little bitch and like... What? What did you think this was? This is bullshit! Come on. You knew this was always how it was going to end. No. No, you know what? I I'm kidnapping you again. Come on. No, I'm kidnapping you again. Get your shit. Let's go. I can't stand up. I don't care. We're going to get in the car and go. Where? It doesn't matter. Get your shit. I'm not kidding. Let's go. Come on. What? Please. It's time. Please. Megan? It's your... It's Larry. I'm out here with your friend, Kimmy. And Chet. Yeah, and Chet. Chet is here as well. I need y'all to open the, the door right this instant. This is not a request. It's not too late. We could still go out the back. And what? Keep on running? Have a wild and crazy road trip? I don't know. You think I'm wild and crazy? That man out there shot a person just to protect you. I'm way too much of a coward to stand in the way of that man. I hate him, though. Yeah. Well, we often hate the person we love the most. I could hate you. Nah. Irritated, maybe. Frustrated, definitely. But that man outside, you haven't stopped hating on him since we got in the car. Megan? Megan, please come outside. I know you might be thinking of sneaking out the back of the house right now, and I just wanted to say that I please hope you don't do that. Because I'm supposed to see you again. Because we're supposed to live our lives together. So, could you please open the door, please? Go on. Open it. What about you? Shit. If you think I have any answers, you haven't been paying attention. Go on. Your people are waiting. Oh, my God. All right. Get, all right. Oh check, check, check. Oh. Get out of the side. Oh. Are those Doritos? Hi, Larry. Don't say anything. You are in so much trouble. So much trouble you have no idea. Don't even try to get out of it. Whoa, why are you covered in blood? Oh, my God. Is that your blood? No, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What, 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 what happened to you? Are you okay? Peachy. That doesn't sound true, but okay. Look over here. Uh, look at the camera. Look at the camera. No. This is not a moment, Chet. This is not a commemorative. This is an angry... Larry is angry moment. Got it. Whoa. Got it. Oh, we got the ending. Chet. Help Mr. Montgomery. 
Hey, Rick. Wow, that's a lot of blood. What happened to you? Just bring me to the hospital. You want me to help you to the cruiser? Don't touch me. You got it, man. I'll bring the cruiser to you. I'll bring the cruiser around, you guys. Hey, Mr. Uh, Rick. What happened here? I got hurt, and your kid took care of me. She did? Yeah. She's pretty resourceful. And a little dangerous. Yeah, I've experienced both of those things from her. Maybe one a little more than the other. Mm. You guys, I got the cruiser. I saved you a seat in the cop car. Kimmy, would you mind helping Mr. Montgomery outside? Sure. Mm. Ow! Oh, did I hit your leg? I'm so sorry about that. Megan? Megan. Yeah, sorry. Hey, whose guitar is that? Mine, uh, I think. You know how to play? No, but I think I could learn. Mm. Well, maybe we can try and get you some lessons then. Or, or hey, Kimberly could teach you. <sighs> yeah. Maybe, maybe y'all could start a band or something. Maybe. The, the, the young banshees or uh, the wild coyotes, you know, that, that, that'd be a pretty cool name, right? Wild coyotes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y- y'all should start a band. But not for like a year, because that's how long you're grounded. Larry. Wrong. You grounded. I'm sorry. I realize this is an extraordinary situation thing, but you could have come to me with it. I would have listened. I am the one who listens. I am the one who helps. I know. I am the one who takes care of things for you. Understand? I said I know. Good. Good. Hey. He's not going anywhere. You'll see him again. Yeah? Yeah. You want to take one last look at the place? No. I'm ready. Little Montgomery was written by Stephen Brown, directed and produced by Timothy Mark Davis, production management by Ryan Maloney, Sound design and editing by Andrew Paul Davis. Music by Joshua Diaz. Show artwork by Ryan Arnst. Little Montgomery was written by Eliza Martin Simpson, with performances by Krista Millie Valdez, Casey Sacco, David A. Highland, Timothy Mark Davis, Greg Weiner, Elizabeth Price, and Laura Creel. Funding for this organization is provided in part by the Board of County Commissioners of Broward County, Florida, as recommended by the Broward Cultural Council. Additional funding for this project was provided by Funding Arts Broward, whose objective is to enrich the Broward County arts community by funding visual and performing arts programs that present high-quality programs to the public. Special thanks to our recurring players, our monthly donors who have supported and sustained us through these challenging times. Your support is so valuable. Little Montgomery is a production of New City Players. Text us at 954-388-9440 or click the link in the show notes. Join us next Friday for a bonus episode with writer Stephen Brown and director Timothy Mark Davis. Mm-hmm.